A lot of this game simply comes down to having the right intentions and understanding exactly what's going on. And I see a lot of people uh, recently that once they're set up, and they've got the grip in place and they're set up, about ready to hit the, hit the shot, that a lot of people tend to feel that um, the grip that we're certainly starting with uh, shouldn't be moved or altered and that the hands should remain very straight as they swing the club around them. This couldn't be further from the truth. This leads to the club moving off plane and the wrist angles are quite different now. It generally involves a bit of twisting in the wrong way in terms of the, the hands here and the handle. Um, so that's definitely not the case, that your hands can move and bend. And so what, what I do, I would start with my, with my normal grip, but that's only, that's only a starting grip. The hands, the wrist angles are going to change a little bit. They don't initially, I'm going to preserve the feeling of my starting grip. I will preserve that as I start my swing. But hereafter, as the club starts to to move up and around me, you can see that my top hand is starting to go into a bit of flexion, so i.e. it's just flattening a little bit, and you see my other hand has now increased in extension here, so they definitely haven't uh, remained still or in the same position as where they were. Now from here I'm going to hold on to that position, that feeling that we've got here, so I've still got some, some flexion here and some extension in my right hand. Now from there, we're going to now deliver the club and down hinge and release that energy through the golf ball here, like so. So, and then that would continue here as the hands then re-hinge in the follow through. So that clearly illustrates the fact that the hands do not remain exactly where they were um, as you set up to the golf ball.